hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is tandy today we're going to be watching um unusually smart looking men david mitchell's um soapbox um let's just get into it hello you may be thinking i look unusually smart in this picture i hope so because this is by nature of an appeal and that's my starting point all I had okay. to do in order to give you the impression I look unusually smart is take from my wardrobe the thing I always put on when I want to look unusually smart. There was no effort, no choice involved, I just followed some very simple instructions and lo and behold, I look unusually smart. I find this okay. tremendously reassuring. It's very unfair on women, actually. When they want to look unusually smart, they have to worry about dresses and jewellery and accessories and whether any other women will be wearing the same thing. Whereas we men know that hundreds of other men will be wearing exactly the same thing and that's fine because we'll all vaguely look like we've made an effort. But what worries me is that yeah. there are men who are trying to take that away from us. Handsome men, cool men, men who want to express themselves and who wear something, anything other than this when they want to look unusually smart. Idiots, fools, black ties are gift to men. It requires no <laughs> thought and it makes any of us look as good as it's possible for us to look. Why would you throw that away? Is, is it that you think that dress codes are just for the square majority? That your personalities are too large and vibrant to be contained by them? I'm not gonna do what the man the says. Range. I'm gonna wear a sparkly open neck shirt or a boot lace tie or, or just a normal tie that's black as if I'm going to a funeral. Presumably when such people do go to funerals, they wear sandals and an I'm glad he's dead t-shirt. <laughs> well, whatever your <laughs> twisted motivation, for heaven's sake, stop ruining it for the rest of us. If cool men continue to selfishly indulge their individuality, the convention will disappear and then we'll all have to think about what we wear forever after. We'll be in the same situation as the poor women. We'll have to exercise judgment. <laughs> the poor women. Men, in general, don't have to look as good as women. We should be <laughs> clinging to that for all we're worth. Women have to fall back on makeup, Botox, surgery. <laughs> the cosmetic and sartorial yoke under which they labour is terrifying and it looms for us if we, or indeed even just a few of us, renounce the black tie. Particularly me. I dress terribly. I have no idea with clothes. If I was a policeman, I'd be afraid to join the CID because I wouldn't know what to wear. I agree I with that I need these instructions. So I say to all you cool men, have a heart and put on a dicky bow. And to the uncool men, I say, don't let those handsome bastards ruin Dicky it for back. the rest of us. Because it's the handsome ones who are trying it on, make no mistake. The ones who actually wouldn't mind men being judged as harshly on their appearances as women, because they reckon they'd do quite well out of it. Well, never fear. The ugly man will always outnumber the attractive man. <laughs> let us strive to keep them in subjection. It shouldn't be hard. They're mostly thick. Um... I, I think that that this is old. I think, yeah, fourteen years ago, that time has come, and it's here. There's metrosexual men now. Uh, men take just as long to get ready as women. Well, some men. Um, yeah, <laughs> the fact that he saw this coming, and do people in the UK call it a dicky bow? It has never come up in conversation, so I didn't I didn't know that's what it's called. A dicky bow. Instead of a bow tie. I just know bow tie. <laughs> that's that's a funny name. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh please subscribe and have to see the next one. Bye.